You may have recently seen people talking about peer-to-peer -peer on the internet, but what is peer-to-peer? Peer-to-peer is a way of communicating directly between two parties, with no third parties in between. For example, normally, if Ben wants to send a message to Kylie over the internet, the message leaves his device and is pushed to a server. Then the server sends a message to Kylie's device. Using peer-to-peer -peer communication, the message goes straight from Ben's device to Kylie's device, just like a conversation in real life. Once a connection is established between two devices, each device works as its own server and receiver, allowing messages to travel uninterrupted. The first well-known use of peer-to-peer -peer technology was Napster. Napster allowed you to make files on your computer available for other users to directly download. This is significant because it allowed each person to be a digital library for sharing. Since then, Bitcoin was created and gave new life to peer-to-peer -peer systems. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency without a central bank that can be sent from user to user on the peer-to-peer -peer network, just like cash in real life. So, why does this matter? Well, when data gets sent to a central server, it can be monitored, stored for later use, sold to third parties, or stolen by criminals. One of the big benefits of peer-to-peer -peer is how you get to control your data. As a user of the internet, you have a right to your data. But when you use services that require a central server, your data is theirs. While most platforms let you download and view your data, where that data goes and how it's stored is in their control, which means they might also sell it. Peer-to-peer -peer lets you take full control of who sees your data, where your info goes, and how it's used. With no third party holding your data, the power is in your hands. Peer-to-peer -peer also helps ensure security. Since your data is stored on your device, criminals can't exploit a server to get your info. With the help of decentralization and encryption, a user has even more security and independence than ever before. The internet was created with free information and global connection at its core. As a user of the internet, you can choose which platforms you support with your data and time. Centralized systems might use your data and time for their own benefit. A centralized system makes it much harder for startups, creators, and other groups to grow their internet presence without worrying about those centralized platforms changing the rules or taking away their audiences and profits to protect their own power. This hurts innovation and prevents competitors from emerging, and without competitors, the user experience will suffer. Luckily for you, these decentralized peer-to-peer -peer systems are becoming more and more common, allowing you to control your data online. What industry do you think could benefit from peer-to-peer -peer technology? Let us know in the comments.